Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to take you on my journey to grow my Acorns account to $100,000. Acorns is an app to help you turn your pocket change into cold hard cash. So this video is brought to you by Acorns. Sign up now by using the link down in the description. Open up an account and you'll get a free $5 just for signing up. But Acorns have one of the best uh, telefriend programs out there. This month, I think if you get four friends to sign up, that you'll get an extra $300 deposited into your Acorns account today. That is a, a three three months worth of what I invest to Acorns. If you got, I'm pretty sure you guys got more friends than me. All you gotta do is tell four of your friends, they'll sign up, they'll get a free $5, and you'll get $300 deposited into your account to get a major head start on this investing app. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back YouTube, here we are in the Acorns app. My account is at $4,591.54. I'm well on my way, I'm way past where I was last year. Exponential growth is starting to show and I even recovered from the economic crash, the pandemic. So I even recovered from that already. Let's take a look at my account and my settings that I have in my Acorns account. Right now I have my account set on aggressive automatic times two and i invest ten dollars every single friday when i say it's aggressive acorns have five different investing styles that you can do the five different ones that they have is conservative moderately conservative moderate moderately aggressive and then aggressive aggressive to me is not it's not really that aggressive it's not really that dangerous at all for my liking that's why i like to have it on aggressive because it's not really that dangerous if we take a look at conservative uh they mainly invest in government bonds uh corporate bonds and more corporate bonds etl so they invest into bonds on conservative probably not going to make that much money let me know down in the description if you have that um setting on your acorns account but i have mines on aggressive which is 55 percent invested to large company stocks ticker symbol voo 10 percent invested into ijh a medium company stock 5% invested into small company stocks, ticker symbol IJR, and 30% invested into IXUX, international company stocks. Let's take a look at what these companies are investing into. I love VOO, it is an ETF. They hold Microsoft, Facebook, Apple, Google, Amazon, and Google Class A type stocks. VOO is an amazing stock, I actually love it. Let's take a look at what IJH have. They have these six inside of their portfolio. The one that I'm looking at that I like is Etsy. I actually like Etsy. Let's go back into the other percentage. 5% uh, goes into IJR. Of these, I like Wingstop. I, ooh, I love some Wingstop. I like Wingstop and I like, well, I just really like uh, Wingstop out of, out, of, out of these. And then if we take a look at IXUX, I, I love Nestle. I just did a video on Nestle. If you did. Go check that one out. It is the beverage company that is killing Coca-Cola and it is killing Pepsi. Nestle is outperforming both of those. So I love that they're actually investing into Vestly. I love Alibaba and Tencent. So, so that is a great ETF uh, IXUX that they invest into. And it shows right there. So 55 cent of every dollar is going to VLO, 10 cent of every dollar is going to IJH, 5 cents of every dollar is going to IJR, and 30 cents is going to IXUX. Mildly aggressive is pretty much the same except for they have different percentage in each ones and then they add ISTB and AGG and they allocate 6 and 14% to those extra two inside of that portfolio. But I like mine's on aggressive. Now this is where Acorns is really making me a lot of money is on my times two roundup. That means every time I, I go to the dollar and I swipe my card and I buy something that's um 50 cents it rounds up to the nearest dollar and invest that's 50 cents that's to the nearest dollar into this account and since i have mines on times two and multiply that 50 cents times two so i invest a dollar straight into my acorns account so if i buy something for 98 cents you round up two cents multiply that by two that's four cents invest into my acorns account and it adds up over time i'm going to show you guys exactly how much i invested for my roundups into my account over time 
in just a minute, but I have my setup on times two. You can have it on times three or times 10 if you want to grow yours even faster. If I click on roundups right here, I have a total of 2,481 roundups that I have. So I swipe my card at least 2,481 times over the last year and a half or so, or the last 14 months. I have around $2,158.85 just for my roundups alone. At first, when I started Acorns, I did not have it on times two, and then I put it on times two around 10 months ago. So yeah, I really seen growth in my portfolio ever since I turned it to times two. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna change it to times three. I don't think I'm gonna reach times 10, but hopefully I can reach times three in the next year or so. But yes, I invest a lot of money just for my roundups alone and having it on times two. Another way that I invest into Acorns is $10 every Friday is reoccurring. So you could change how much you want to invest into Acorns just by coming to this tab and you could type in any amount that you want with a minimum of $5. So you can invest $100 every Friday or $5 every Friday. Me, I invest $10 every Friday, so that's around $40 a month. If we scroll down to my last 30 days, I invested $171.66 into my Acorns account. $96 of that was from my roundups from me swiping my card, so $96 of that was from my roundups. $40 was from me investing $10 every Friday, so $40 is that. And I told a couple of my friends about Acorns to sign up and they got a free $5 and I got a free $5, so I got $35 worth of that added into my Acorns account. So that's $171.66 this month added to my Acorns account. Okay, so we're right here in my performance right quick. I am up $534.95. Uh, right here, you guys can see that my account value went down quite a bit March 23, 2020. That's when the, the pandemic happened. And then I eventually recovered a couple of months later. And now I'm up $534.95. So hopefully in a month or two, I'll have a $5,000 account. And I will be very, 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 very happy just because just not too long ago, I was down to 1,900. So having a $5,000 account is gonna put a smile on my face. Okay, so to look at the future value of my portfolio, right now to have a six-figure portfolio investing $10 every single week, let's scroll this over to the left and I will have a $100,000 portfolio at the age of 56 if I continue to reinvest $10 every single Friday. This is not counting my roundups, this is just accounting my $10 every week. If I change this from $10 every week to, let's say, what I do on Robinhood, which is $200 every single week. Let's keep scrolling. So on Robinhood, I do $200 every week. If I was to change this Acorns account to $200 every week at the age 56, I have a $754,000 account. Let's scroll that over. I'll have a six figure account at the age of 36. If I continue to invest $200 every week into Acorns, like I do on Robinhood, I'll have a $100,000 account at the age of 36. So that's just around seven years from now that I'll have a $100,000 account. Six figures in seven years, that I love the sound of that. But by the time I retire at the age of 65-ish, I'll have a $1.5 million account if I continue to reinvest $200 every single week. But remember, this is not counting my roundups. A lot of money in Acorns is because of my roundups. This is just my reoccurring investment of $10 every single Friday. So if you guys wanna play around with this graph right here, the link is down in the description if you wanna sign up and try this out yourself. So yeah, guys, that's all. Uh, this is my journey to a $100,000 account over on Acorns. Let me know what type of account you have on Acorns. I have mine set on aggressive. If you have anything else other than aggressive, did your account take a major hit when the pandemic happened? I'm doing that because we can't say certain words on YouTube, so you guys know what I mean. I'm not saying that the pandemic was fake. It's clearly real. Wear your mask. But other than that, guys, let me know down in the comment section what type of portfolio you have and why you're down there. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out this video a lot. It really helps out this channel a lot. It really helps out my life a lot just by hitting this thumbs up button. But while you're down there hitting buttons, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.